Hi, Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila. Please like my social media. I'm here with... Ace Agave. Greg, how you doing, folks? Ace Agave on Instagram. You got to check them out. Today, illegal. Listen, guys, tequila guys, this is like an XA. This is seven years aged in 35 different barrels of French oak. Okay, that's going to be sweet. So it's a this blend. Is, they it's a blend. blend all the barrels together. It's a mezcal coming out of Nam. Um, like a Solera. Solera. System. That's right. That's right. 0305X in Oaxaca. Okay, it's founded by John Rexer. Okay, you know what he used to do? John Rexer had a bar, a restaurant in Guatemala. He used to have to smuggle this down there. And that's why they called <laughs> it illegal. Yeah. I was talking with Randy Mann, who's my friend. He's the ambassador and sales guy for all of Southern California. What a great guy. This is Angustifolia Espadine, okay? That's the mezcal that's used for this, all right? All French oak roasted and baked in the ground with mesquite, eucalyptus wood, crushed very fine, fermented in oak vats, double distilled in all copper stills. This stuff is no joke, bro. It's a serious, it's a serious production, Lou, but I think it's, it's got a lot of barrel notes. You just pop it open like this. You take your thumb and you flip it over. That's originally, Eric Hernandez was involved in this project, but it's Alvaro and Armando Hernandez now. I had an interesting conversation with Randy Mann today. There's a lot of people, the purists, you know, oh, you know, mezcal should only be a hoven, you know? It shouldn't be aged, yeah? Well, you know, it could be for special occasions like this, like a pachuga is. Come on, really. I don't mind an aged uh, mezcal, but you know what? Mm. I want it to be 45 45 ABV or above. Yeah. This drinks a little bit more like a tequila to me. Okay, but it's a 41.332. And, uh, you know, this is basically uh, good enough. This is delicious. This is sweet. Not overly sweet. It's got some apple and oak in it. Definitely has apple. Some definitely heat, has, that, definitely honey. has that orchard fruit. Got it, like a honey fig thing going on. Yeah. A little bit of smoke. Not but a lot of smoke. It's got a, not a lot of smoke at all. It's got, in my opinion, got the a, little here. Bit, a little bit more tequila notes, a little bit more barrel notes. It's, you know, blind tasting this. I'm not going, this is a mezcal, Lou. I know how much you love it, but I'm just, I'm on the other side of the spectrum with you. Yeah, no, I do really love this a lot. I have to say, I really like this Illegal 7-Year in French Barrels. I really do. You can buy it at Old Town Tequila Superstore for one forty nine ninety nine. That is not a lot of money for so a 7-Year. So it's a limited edition, Lou. They're going to come out with a bunch of other limited editions. Enough. This is their first limited edition. And I think they did a nice job on this. It's a great gift. It's a great behind-the-bar sipper. You know, at a late night, it's delicious, but it's not my style of mezcal. I like it. I like it because, you know, mezcal, I like Hoven. I do, and I love all the stuff I'm tasting. I like Soltals and Bacanuras and all the rest here. But you know what? This is different. This is more bringing me back to the uh, tequila, you know, extra and yayo type of presence. Tequila notes, Lou. I think it's delicious. I really do. I love it. So, you know, this is Illegal. This is limited edition 7-year XA. You guys should check this out. I think you're going to like it.